Back on the Opera House set, the crew prepares for the crashing of the chandelier. In the stage show, it famously crashes at the end of Act One, but now it comes as the film builds towards a climax. I mean, I've got 30 stunt guys here today and we're dropping this huge chandelier, as you can see, um, which has all been set up. It's taken a week to set this up, you know, with the rigs we've got up above, so it's quite difficult. And we need to give one take at this. So we just, at the moment, as you can see, a lot of work going on, uh, preparing it. Then we bring the stunt guys in and place them around in the orchestra pit and they're around the seat. So we want to try and get them as close as possible to the chandelier when it comes down. Well, the fire risk, you know, once it hits all this polystyrene, which this is made of, that, that, you know, goes very quickly. You've got the curtains, which is all, it's all been sprayed, you know, to catch light. You've got the flame underneath, so when that hits the gas, all the gas goes off. So, yeah, it doesn't look big to start with, but with the building, what we've got here, it, it would go around pretty quickly. But with only one chandelier to crash, there can be no mistakes. especially for the stunt people, who have been meticulously rehearsed, but still have to be completely focused. Live theater is live theater, and there's no replacement for that. So, you know, my job was, well, how do we make a film that might be exciting for a film audience that tells this story? And even though Phantom is still running after 16 years and tens of millions of people have seen it, there are millions of people that haven't. 